to, to interpret John 3.16 the way men are doing it, it causes more problems than it does answer questions. And people, people realize it. I run into them all the time. They say, well, how could God love somebody and send them to hell? Because it presents God as loving somebody up to a certain point, and then all of a sudden saying, okay, now I'm going to send you to hell. What kind of love is that? What kind of love is that? Or to say that, that he actually sent his son to die for everybody and yet does not send a preacher to him to tell him? You think about the millions and billions of people dying today in the world who've never even heard the name of Christ. And you're telling me God loves them? Don't you think if you love somebody and gave your son to die for them that you'd cause them to hear it? That's exactly right. So there's something wrong with that interpretation. And, and it starts right here with this little word, so. For It says here, for in this manner, God in this manner loved the world. What does it do? It begs the question. How did he love the world? Well, it says he gave his only begotten son. And then the rest shows you that it's not for everybody. Because it doesn't say that anybody might believe on him. It says that, actually, in the original, it's that those who do believe. That's why he sent his son. There is a people that he is going to cause to believe, and that those that do believe should not perish but have everlasting life.